Race five is the Viking flagship maiden chase. It's a two and a half mile maiden chase. What a big looking feel for this one. And at the top we've got Agostone Nina for Derek Hinton, Cavo Doro, Martin Legum, Dave's Chance, David Hooley, Damani Steele, Derek, uh, Darren Thompson, El Centro Air, Vinnie Gerard, Garde Francais, Leon van Rensburg, Marrakesh, Daniel French, Rippling Road, John Morgan, The Fault Line, Joshua Sutherland, Event Horizon, Craig Beckwith, Ipanema Plod, Alex Cherry, Miss Catalan, James Shea, Orange Cassidy, Matt Cooper, Paperweight Walker, David Robertson, Piquitum Swivy for Graham Clutterbuck and Villefranche Parade for Jim Murray, they're away and racing. Nice to see everybody's giving me their tongue twisters again. And it's Rippling Road who's got off into the lead. That's a nice horse to come on Rippling Road. Comes off the tongue quite nicely, that one. And leads past the winning post then with a couple of circuits ahead of it. In front then, and John Morgan front runner, Rippling Road from Ipanema Plod in second. As they take this pretty sharp looking turn. Two of them caught a little bit wide. Guard Francais for Leon van Rensburg. But it's Rippling Road who's in the lead. Leading by a good six lengths to Ipanema Plod in second. And Villefranche Parade is after that one. With Miss Catalan as they get over the first fence eventually. And they're all safely over it. 13 more to take. And Rippling Road is in the lead. From Ipanema Plod second. And the pace is pretty hot. Cavo Doro. He's in third, then Miss Catalan as they take this ditch. Which they're all safely over. Agost and Nina, just the early back marker. So, short run to the third. Which again, they're all over okay. Three hurdle races and one chase so far. The chase was a race where three of them fell over. We didn't see it. So, not anybody fall in this one yet. As they get over that next one, they're getting quite strong out. We've lost one in their event. Horizon's gone, so. Apologies to Craig Beckwith there for putting the curse on that fence. I say nothing had fallen yet. And it's Rippling Road is in the lead. From Ipanema Plod in second, and then Cavo Doro is third. Miss Catalan is fourth. Then a couple of lengths back to Paperweight Walker and Dave's Chance. With Villefranche Parade after that one, with El Centro Air as they get to this plane fence, which is number five. And Cavo Doro hit that one hard. Agleston Nina. Has dropped right out of the back as well as they get to this next one. Short run to it, and they're all over it okay. Although I'm guessing that Agleston Nina may be something to miss with that one because it appears to be getting pretty much detached as they get over the seventh. That's the midway point in the jumping, and Rippling Road is in the lead. From Miss Catalan and Paperweight Walker together, sharing second. As they come up past the winning post and head out then for a complete circuit of the track. Austin Nina does appear to be well tailed off at this point. Uh, Rippling Road is the leader. Rippling Road in front. Then all the way so far as I take this sharp turn again. And we can see there that Agustin Nina is a good 30 lengths or so behind everybody else. And sure to be pulled up. And it's Rippling Road in front. From Miss Catalan and Ipanema Plot. And Paperweight Walker and Villefranche Parade. And it's Cavo Doro. And they get back after that mistake as they get over number 8. And there's a fall in there, it's Paperweight Walker's gone. Paperweight Walker's down. Um, David Robertson's charge has gone up that one as they race towards the next uphill run to the ninth. And it's Rippling Road who's been in the lead all the way, gets to this big ditch. Over it, they all go, and there's one gone down at the back there, that's Marrakesh gone this time. Uh, Rippling Road the leader. Short run to the next, and up the down, right down on its nose there was a horse in green, Miss Catalan. Uh, the mistakes are coming thick and fast now, and it's Rippling Road who continues to set this strong pace as we get down to the business end of the race. Over this final ditch they go, and Rippling Road jumped it well in front, and it's a good four or five lengths clear. They're queuing up behind, but they've got five lengths to make up, and as they come round this turn, Rippling Road's got the inside berth and has got a good run on them. The one who's really struggling at the back now is Garth Francais, which is a bit of a surprise, but it's Rippling Road who's in the lead by three to four from... Periquitum Swivy, who's been sat there without me mentioning 
injury all the way through the race suddenly appeared on the premises veal france parade is coming there as well over the third last they go over that one then rippling road now beginning to tire from veal france parade in second over the second last they go veal france parade is now at the front veal france parade from periquitum swivy then after that one comes rippling road but then racing down towards the final third on them this is the final fence over it they go a bit of a slow jump on the leader and rippling road's coming back and here comes demani still with a strong looking run and demani still taking it up Millennium Swivy is coming back in Periquitum Swivy is trying to come there as well but it's Damani Steele who's going to take it Damani Steele is going to take it from Rippling Road who got back up to take second from the Graham Clutterbuck horse I'm going to have to have a sit down and think about what to call that one I'm not sure how to say it to be honest what do you think she's playing at? should know better Gray <laughs> Damani you can commentate on it yourself next week it's Damani Steele the winner for Darren Thompson Rippling Road John Morgan second Periquitum Swivy or something for Graham Clutterbuck he's third Dave's chance for David Hooley was fourth and Ville France Parade for Jim Murray was fifth